Well, my name's Noel Hawkins. I'm from Mallapal originally, but moved about a lot. And I was a fisherman when I was younger. Uh, the fishing industry became a lot of hard work for not a lot of money. So I moved into other sectors, but always missed to see. So I became involved with the Summer Queen three years ago now, working aboard, doing the narration, and trying to tell people a bit about the wildlife and culture and history of the area. Uh, our general tour is we do a, a long tour in the mornings. We come out to Tanner Moor. It's the last inhabited island on the, the Summer Isles. And we travel through the islands, visit seal colonies and look at nesting sites and hopefully see other things in the way. When the wildlife's about, it's spectacular. We get everything from dolphins and whales, seals and sea eagles. And I like to try and promote that and make people aware of it. A lot of people aren't aware of what we've actually got on our own shores and coastline. Yeah, just last year we had a, a pod of common dolphins came in. And they started, they, they, they swam in alongside us. One of the tourists actually turned around and said she thought the, the dolphins were injured. I asked why, she said they were falling in the water in a funny way. So I went over for a closer look and all five leapt out of the water at once, fell into the water on their sides with their fin up and splashed me. And they were obviously sitting waiting for us to lean over and be within their range. And I think examples like that are a sign that they are thinking, they're aware of what we're doing and they are interacting. And um, we haven't seen much fish this year and it's definitely had an impact. We've had small pod of dolphin coming in scouting they come in and look if they find fish they'll normally go out and bring the big pod in this year we haven't had the, the pods in huge numbers yeah. i think marine protected areas in principle are a great idea if the fish stocks were raised it'd be nice to think they the predators larger predators can come in and benefit from that it would certainly benefit the tourism it's the practicalities of it that we wonder about if they're going to ban all fishing in which case they're basically condemning the fishermen of the area to stopping and fishing has been a prime part of this area for thousands of years to just wipe it out like that would be a bit harsh and would change the culture of the whole area. They need to clarify exactly what they're proposing and how it's going to affect people and then how it's going to be implemented.